BYU Sports Nation presents Between the Lines. All right, we're with Gavin Baxter and Taylor Mon. What's up, guys? How's it going? Good. What's up? Hey, so <laughs> Fernand for three. Got it. Here's Baxter. You're kidding me. I want to know. Who was the player that you guys looked up to as a kid? Jimmer Fredette, for sure. Really? Jimmer Mania was, was crazy, and I was glued to the screen for every game or if I could go. It's just the best, best time ever. What's a basketball moment that you remember the most? It could be your own, it could be one in the NBA. I think we could stick with Jimmer um, when he hit the half court shot against Utah. Mm -hmm. I just remember Greg Rubel calling it on the radio, and I was <laughs> listening to it on the radio, so it was crazy to hear. And I was just Losing my mind, of course. Into Jimmer with four, and with three, and with two. Jimmer from 40 feet. Got it! He got it! Oh! All right, we have five seconds. Five, four, Let's call go, Gavin Baxter. Three, from half court. Two, one. It's a bucket. Oh, no Gosh good. darn. We're gonna the, wind try speed out of the wind speed out of the northwest is kind of. <laughs> yeah, cool. I agree. All right, five, Gavin four, Baxter with the dribble. Three, from half court. Two. One, zero. It's a oh, bucket! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jimmer for that. I mean, he he obviously is is one of the greatest BYU basketball players to to come through here and uh, guy that I really looked up to. Pull back between the legs, spin, spin move, split the D, split the D, to and the lay. finish with the left. Yeah, that one's you for sure. That's too easy. Yep. All righty. Taylor from the right side, who crosses back, sees the big, splits the defense, and finishes with the left. I like that. Very good. How is it having Mark Pope as the new head coach? He just brings energy and passion, like you said, to um, not only basketball, but just kind of the, the energy and environment around the team. Awesome. Taylor? Yeah. Coach Pope's attention to detail is, is next level. And like Gavin said, the, just the excitement and the energy that he brings to the gym is it's contagious. Have you guys seen any video or clips of his glory days when he played? Have you seen anything? I have not. Wow. I looked some up on YouTube. Couldn't find any. Hmm. But I don't know, man. You guys probably have some. We have some. Okay. We have some for you. And we want you to reenact it for us, all right? Where is Coach? Should be like the only white guy out there. Oh, there he is. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. On Mad head. vertical. On his head. You could fit a sheet of paper under that. Thing on his head. Over. Jumped up way so high, it's crazy. Here we go. Let's see this. Uh huh. You having some great moves at the top. Taylor Mon with the dime. Oh. I thought you were gonna windmill that one. That was nope. good. Oh, the free throw. Free throws. Look at the hair. Highest percentage shot. Where is he? Ball. Why is he holding the ball right there? Uh huh. Look at that. It's pure though. He didn't finish his shot though. It I'm was gonna tell pure. Him. It was pure. It went in though. Can't argue that. All right, Mark Pope to the line. He's a decent free throw shooter. Great hair, great form. He squatted low That's on that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He also did that after. Yeah. All right, guys, after those reenactments, how do you feel like you did as a whole? It's good. Yeah. yeah. Did a really good job. Perfect. Yeah. For uh, reenactments, as far as reenactments go. Outdoor court. Outdoor court. The wind's blowing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a perfect day. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for being here with us, and good luck this summer. Appreciate it. Thank you.